if you're working with Niagara system then I think this will uh, greatly help you as you can see I have uh, three uh, Niagara effects over here they are all from the same Niagara system if I click the first one on the right side you can see the user perimeters where we can change the box size particle color size uh, overall uh, of the effect and spawn rate in this video I will show you how to expose uh, all these things from our Niagara system to our editor so we can quickly and easily prototype and create uh, lots of different variations of the same Niagara uh, effect let me just create one quick uh, Niagara effect go over here right click Niagara system we will choose these hanging particulates hit create we can just go enter and now double click to open it up and uh, the first thing we want to do is to click the hanging particulates and click this GPU compute sim and fixed to use our GPU instead of our CPU to make things perform better go back to our level and drag and drop the effect here for example we can see our particles here but we want to be able to change uh, the properties on the right side so go to your Niagara system and uh, over here type in spawn rate and we want to see this spawn rate in this user parameters over here if you don't see the user parameters on the left side make sure to go to window and make sure that this user parameters is enabled and now under the spawn rate uh, you can see this drop down menu click it and type in user and uh, select this read from new user perimeter and you can see on the left side that uh, we have uh, our perimeter created and on the right side you can see that says user so we're now using this left side to control the spawn rate let's save everything and go back to our level and if you select your particles you can see on the right side under user parameters here uh, spawn rate so let's make this bigger like for example 300 and uh, let's uh, add uh, some more uh, perimeters uh, for practice and we'll do this by uh, selecting our emitter and typing color for example go over here and you can see color in this drop down menu type in user read from user perimeter and you can see on the left side that we added color so if you want you can right click and choose rename to be particle color or any different name you want to use so you can see it here now it says particle color let's change this to be for example red but make sure to save everything because we don't see anything go here and uh, let's uh, delete this and let's go to shape location here you can go here and we, you can see this box size we can change the we can add user perimeters to our box size so we can save and change the size of our particles okay it's updated so we can see this better it's red and we can change this to be for example 100 with 100 with 100 so we can make this a little bit smaller move it here okay let's add the last one select your whole emitter here and type in size and over here you can see that we have a uh, size min and max but we want to this to be uniform and we can drop down here and type in user and read from new user perimeter and save it and you can rename this just to be size go back and let's change size to be to be for example 100 and you can immediately see how our effect is changed here it's a bit too much so we will change this uh, size to be for example 20 and if I go G and F11 we can see our effect here uh, the good thing about this is that uh, if we select it we can uh, duplicate for example hold alt on your keyboard and we can move this for example here and what is a, a great thing is that uh, when you duplicate your uh, effect you can change color here and you can change the size here and the complete size of the box will be a little bigger and we immediately have another effect ready for our level uh, this uh, this way we can uh, easily prototype our uh, level and quickly add effects and customize those effects let's add a third one and change it to be for example blue and size to be 50.
and this is it guys if you find this helpful uh, let me know in the comments below drop some likes and subscribe for more content like this uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you in some other video bye bye